We're back. Alright. Welcome back. We are back, boys. Let's go, let's go. Um, I just got over a bit of an illness, so that's the reason I haven't been uploading lately, but, you know, I am back. As you can see. And we are, what better way than to kick it off again with some good old Kha'Zix, you know? Alright, so this game I... Uh, I had to go for Conqueror because they pretty much just they had like three bruises, so Renekton, and Silas, Graves, and that pretty much just means Conqueror. Because uh, if I don't go Conqueror, I can't really deal with uh, Renekton properly, I can't really deal this with the Silas properly because uh, those champions are very strong uh, against Kha'Zix, so I'm just like, okay, Conqueror game. If I run anything else, it's fucked. And uh, yeah, this is on the new patch. Uh, I don't think much changed for uh, this patch for Kha'Zix, except for one small thing, which you'll see right now. Which you will see right now. Um, notice I just pinged the blue, because take a look at the bot lane, they started late. And yeah, I've got a ward on their raptors. So yeah, and look at this, look at this, ready? See, do you see that? And I moted there just to like, make it clear, but look, the, the Krugs don't isolate in this patch. See, see, no isolation, man. It's really sad. It's it's actually really annoying. Um, it slows down Kha'Zix's clear a little bit uh, in the early game, because you can't get the iso Q off for the most part during your, Q, blah, blah, during your clear. So yeah, that, it kind of sucks, um, but it's fine. We are just doing a full clear. Uh, Graves just tend to full clear as well, so you kind of want to follow uh, the Graves along his path. As you can see, he hasn't shown up on his Raptors yet, so that pretty much just confirms he's full clearing. Um, well, at, at least he's done like his uh, bottom side jungle, all of it, and so I just clear as well. Um, but yeah, I had a slight illness. Um, it was mainly just like a fever. Uh, and like a really bad headache uh, that's why I was gone for a little bit but you know we're back now um, fun fact I had to do an entire assignment which is absolutely appalling I had to do an entire assignment for uni uh, with a splitting headache and a fever so hell yeah that was fun that was fun and naturally I couldn't really do shit for uh, playing League and all that in videos, so yeah. Anyway, I see a gank here, so I literally just walk up, miss my W as per usual, and then just pick him up. Hold my leap, make sure I hold leap, and yeah. Very solid opportunity. I, I decided to stop my uh, my clear just for that. And then Graves comes along, he's like, what's up? And I'm like, what's up? He has no red buff, and he has jack shit, so um, I just burst him down and flash on him for the kill. Uh, he was level 3, I was level 4, uh, because I got that kill. Probably would have been more difficult if I didn't get that kill, but, you know, naturally I did. And, yeah. It was a good attempt by Graves, but I think he forgot I have a uh, Conqueror. I'm Conqueror Kha'Zix early game, and you do not want to fight a Conqueror Kha'Zix in the early game, honestly. Like, it is, it's like, I don't know, it's, he's really strong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and so Vladimir dies and stuff, and he's like complaining about Silas. Rightfully so, I mean, Silas is pretty absurd. Uh, I dare say he's overpowered. Um, but, you know, who's, who knows? I just feel like there's so much healing in the game right now. Um, I just, like, there's too much healing. Definitely too much healing. In the game, in my opinion. It's just because of Conqueror and shit, I don't know. Silas just heals to full HP with one ability. It's really crazy. <laughs> Alright, so, regarding my items, I go for Red Smite, uh, because they're bruises and stuff, plus co synergize as well with the Conqueror playstyle, and double longsword, as well as boots. I went for boots because I don't necessarily need uh, the warrior power spec to be useful here, so I decided I'll just get the boots early on, so I can be more useful, you know, be faster, get around faster, blah 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 blah. That's just the, eh. That's just the <laughs> Conqueror Kha'Zix is just so fucking disgusting. Um, okay, so I noticed Silas going in here. Um, jump on him here. He flashes. It's fine. I kind of think I die here, but um, 
No, they're not. They're not strong enough. Yeah, not strong enough at all. Graves is not that strong at all. Um, he's just really weak, I think. Until you get, uh, until you get like items on him. But we decided to go try and invade this guy, but um, he's smart, so he doesn't actually decide to go for his wolves, which is it's smart. Well played. You don't want to do that um, because we literally just made it obvious that we were in fact um, going into the, that. Uh, side of the map, so yeah. I mean, it's good by Graves to just not face check. And so instead, I just get to take his camp. Take his camps. Fuck. Sorry, guys. I'm stuttering a lot. <laughs> um. Yeah. And what Graves could have done here is, is he probably could have. Oh, he just stayed. Wow, he stayed. He might have done his top side, but I reckon he should have just uh, gone into my jungle and taken my camps there. Um, I noticed something's up here, right? There's definitely something up here, um, so I try and run away, but... It was quite unfortunate. Uh, the side of this room down. Um, I thought I would live there, to be honest, but because I used my leap, it was like, very unfortunate. I got caught out with nothing and simply had to just run away. So that is a mistake. And all I can really buy is uh, my Warhammer. I try and do Dragon, but my team! Look at this shit, man. Hell yeah. My karma collapses hard on the graves and he just dies. Right, that was really nice by my team. And so, really, I just need to chill for a bit and grab my six with my red buff, sure enough. And then I can go for my Q Evolve, yeah. All right, so look. Um, okay, hang on, so this goes here. I jump over, I have to stealth here just to slow him, and then I just fucking... Tr I don't know, it's really awkward going for those kills, but you know, yeah, sometimes you have to just ult for the move speed so you can slow them and stuff, so yeah. Anyway, look, there's a common question I get uh, regarding whether or not to evolve Q or R, and the thing is, I mean, first of all, I have an evolution guide. All you need to do is search up Tinger's evolution guide, and bam, there you go. You'll know everything about evolutions. <laughs> Second of all, you go for Q if you need farming potential or you need more damage in fights. And you go R if you want to gank more or skirmish more and just survive more in general. So if I was like behind, if I was behind against his team, say like my solos, my solo lanes were like winning and I was behind. Uh, solo lanes were losing, sorry. And I was behind, I would probably go R so I can survive more in fights and just be more of a nuisance. Whereas, if I can carry, and I know for a fact I can carry this game because I got a few kills early, uh, plus the nature of the team can't really, like, they can't really control me that much, so I can easily just go Q and farm it up, uh, get all that damage in the in isolated fights, and just, you know, shit on people. So, yeah. Anyway, I get my warrior, and then I go for a double longsword. I was going to go for Tabby, but I was like, nah, let me, let me just get more damage. <laughs> Uh, that's generally like what you want to do. I don't know. I just like prioritizing damage over Tabby or like defensive boots. Okay, so I see his red coming up, and so I figured it's like a decent time to invade. Although my laners won't have priority, um, I can easily. It's it's kind of easy to invade this side of the map because you can just jump over the wall if something goes wrong. Uh, so I decide to invade him, and sure enough, his red is up. If it wasn't up, then it means he's around, but yeah. Anyway, I see like Silas missing, Renekton missing, so it's kind of fishy. Yeah, and sure enough, the Silas actually clips me over the wall. Uh, but because he's isolated, I just fuck him up. And then I use my E to dodge the Graves abilities that I inevitably know are coming. And so, yeah. <laughs> then my team follows up and we shit on the Graves. So that is nice. Uh, notice how... Oh yeah, I get really greedy, really greedy. I just fucking flash on him, I miss my W, again. Imagine if I hit my W there, I actually would have lived. That was bad. That was really bad. Um, it's just super, super greedy. But I actually got another kill there, which is nice. So, I guess, like, 
it wasn't too bad, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so I I literally just got like a bunch of gold. I literally <laughs> three kills. I mean, that's just it. And then I still want to go for Herald. I don't really need to farm right now because you know I am just so damn strong at this point. Uh, it's a good thing to not get caught up in just farming all game. I mean, I need to be aware of this too. I mean, because I would definitely get caught up in farming a lot and a lot and a lot and just ends up being too much. So I know Re Renekton's going to ward here because he just came back to lane. And so I just end up sitting in the bush and screwing him over. But then he jukes me out really nicely. Uh, Silas comes along. Um, I dodge his E and then I just... <laughs> I just I just sit and wait for the singe to fetch me that Silas. Hell yeah. And then I get really greedy here. And I jump over. That was so greedy. We don't even talk about it. <laughs> okay, I think that is like the last death you're going to see from me in this game. <laughs> um, at, at some point I was just like, well after that death I was just like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't jump in blindly into three at three people. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And so I don't I don't think I die too much more in this game. Uh, so here instead of going for my camps, I want to try and be aggressive and you know, you know just actually make this Graves life hell. Jump over the wall. Karma gets a nice slow off for me, and then he's just he's dead. He's dead, man. Rest in peace. Once again. <laughs> Um, okay, and after that, you know what has to be done. We have to take his camps. Um, it's a free punish. You definitely need to do this very often. So he just loses three camps and I get a kill because of that. So yeah, always invade if you just end up killing the enemy jungler. Just make sure you take their camps, but uh, as per usual, respect. And so... Um, I want to run down over here because the Renekton's coming, but I also don't want to fight here at all. So I kind of just chill. And with Dragon coming up, I see Renekton coming down. The whole team is just going into the Dragon right now, uh, which is questionable. It's very questionable. Um, I just decide, you know, there's, I mean, there's nothing we can do there because they have the entire team down there. So we're not going to go in to contest that and just lo lose our lead, you know, waste our time trying to get the Dragon, blah, blah, blah. There's no point, right? So. All I need to do is just farm here, and by farming and him just taking the dragon, the graves just doing nothing but taking the dragon, I just get a massive lead on him. In fact, what I could have done here, instead of just farming my camps, is I could have just walked up into his topside jungle and just taken everything there as, as well. But again, like I don't, I don't really have too much information on his, uh, his pathing, and because I took his topside just then. I am kind of assuming that his top side is already gone. Or did I just say top side? No, because I took his bot side. You can assume that the graves just respawned and uh, went top side. So that's, you know, that's kind of the information I have to work with there. So it's really not worth invading for no reason. When I can just take my camps safely and lead up into Herald. And then bam. Now here is really interesting because I decided to recall and power spike instead of just going for my um instead of just going for like a tower with the herald or something that's just mainly because you want to i don't know play with your power spikes and so as soon as i get that dust blade bam like i'm recalling straight up doesn't matter what like what i'm doing i'm gonna recall half the time so um yeah my embarrassed dies unfortunately because mf is quite fed right now but i stealth into the lane fucking one shot the sonar um just chilling you know smacking down the misfortune while being still being full hp you know we're chilling with conqueror kha'zix fucking disgusting <laughs> this this keystone is really it's just free low man it is it is actually free low like i could run conqueror kha'zix every game and like just climb very 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 uh comfortably comfortably yeah <laughs> because um just Conqueror in general right now is busted. Like, if you're playing a champion that can run Conqueror, you should probably run Conqueror. 
because the rune just opens up an entirely new playstyle on top of the original playstyle of the champion, right? So I can still assassinate on Kha'Zix. I can still play him as an assassin and all that. But I'm also getting like really nice dueling potential with Conqueror. So not only am I functioning as an assassin, I'm functioning as a bruiser as well. So that's why it's really nice on... Um, that's why it's really nice on like assassins, like Conqueror, Talon, Rengar, Kha'Zix, you know. And so MF Blue was there and I get spotted behind the wall. So I just, you know, I give up on trying to find anything there. End up taking his wolves and that's about it. See Graves topside, Varus getting assassinated. <laughs> um, unfortunate. And yeah. All that's left now, I mean... Did I, did I touch on my second evolution? I mean, it's just E. You, all, you guys already know I evolve E. Literally, like, every game. <laughs> like, every game. If I can, right? Not not every game, just when I can carry, it's definitely an E evolve game. And I definitely can carry her, as you can see. Uh, and yeah, my team here is complaining about Renekton. I personally don't think Renekton is that great of a champion. Um, he's he's okay. Like when he gets ahead, he's fine. But he really does fall off later. Um, and I don't know. I I think if you can manage to get a cleaver, or like a uh, just like uh, any early item in general, like you're fine. <laughs> um, and also red smite and savvy helps. I really like Red Smite Tabby early game because it lets you like tank a little bit more uh, against those burst oriented champs like, you know, uh, Renekton, for example, Silas. Like, you can fight them quite comfortably with Red Smite Tabby. Uh, I, so I run that quite often. I feel like it's very important in a lot of matchups. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I mean,. I still think red. Uh, I still think blue smite is good. It's just that I'd rather take red smite because it's just so much better, like safer, safer against these uh, these types of champs. Like if they're all squishy, I'd go for blue smite. That's another common question I get: red smite versus blue smite. What do you take? All right, here it is: red smite against hard matchups, blue smite against easy matchups, aka squishies. And so graves, hello graves. <laughs> I have Cleaver now, so I'm literally not scared. I use my ulti here, dodge the uh, Renekton stun, and then uh, I just fucking jump on the Silas, kill him too. And yeah, there you go. I'm really massive right now. Uh, because I farmed up, I got a Cleaver, I have my Dust Blade, you know. Got everything I need to carry this game. So yeah. <laughs> you can see, like, I'm hardly trying this game. Um... Well, no, I'm trying. I'm just being like very respectful and smart with the engages I make. <clears throat> Notice how I use my stealth. Um, the stealth is like a key component in terms of why I succeed in these fights. Like, like let's say I get stunned by that Renekton in that fight. Uh, that gives the enemy team a chance to collapse on me entirely, which might result in me getting shut down and uh, us losing the fight. But again, this is like, it's unlikely that would happen, but um, I'm just saying like, you gotta build good habits with using your ulti, because if you waste your ulti, you're playing Kha'Zix wrong. Like you'll notice I'm very, very patient with it. Um, very, very patient with my ulti. And so I look for something here. Um, just being very patient. Turns out Silas ends up jumping the wall, <laughs> so I just kind of fucking melt him down. Um, then he heals a thousand times, and then um, I get fucked. So I Q smite the red buff just to get a bit more HP, and uh, yeah, I had to flash out there because I jumped in very, very badly, um, very, very badly. That was really bad. I don't know what I was thinking at that point. Honestly, I just thought like maybe I could grab a kill if I jumped there, but it was a bad jump. So here I don't know why I typed in dead. I'm not buying a dead man's. I'm buying a dust stance. Um, because I don't need any more damage. I just need defense at this point. 
for Conqueror Kha'Zix to like... Well, Kha'Zix in general, honestly, all you need is a Cleaver, a Duskblade, Warrior, and that's it. I feel like I've said this before, but if you really wanted to win, like, you can probably get away with, like, just those three items. And you just, your damage will be fine. Like, you can go into any defensive item you want, uh, etc. And Death Stance is just busted right now. Especially with Conqueror. And Ravenous Hunter. Like, how much fucking healing, man? Look at this shit. I just heal so much. Oh, what? You want to deal damage to me? Hell no, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to heal up a thousand fucking HP. I don't know, it's just dumb. Okay, with that pick, I'm like, okay, maybe we can go for Baron here. And we definitely can go for Baron here because they're weak. They're weak compared to me. And, um, see how the Graves is level 11. I'm level 13, which means my smite does more damage. Plus, I have my Q to smite as well, which is great. So there's no universe, there's no universe in which he gets this Baron, right? Right. <laughs> There's absolutely no universe. Oh, and then um, Varus gets dove. I don't know what the Silas is doing there, but you know, it's whatever. So I'm playing aggressive here. I see the Renekton in my line of sight, so I'm like, fuck you. I hate crocodiles. Uh, sorry, Australians. <laughs> no, I'm joking. And then I use my sixth sense, and I'm like, okay, Silas is over here. You might be wondering how the fuck did I know Silas was there? Um, it's that. It's mainly just because um, I saw him go into our jungle, right? And because that Renekton was like getting shit on. Uh, Renekton was getting shit on, so like Silas would obviously stop his recall and be like, "Oh, shit, he's in trouble. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I can help this. Oh, oh can I help this? Uh, oh, oh no, he's dead. Oh shit, Kazik is on me." Yeah, so it's just a bit of a sixth sense thing. I was always looking out for the Silas while I was going for that Renekton, right? Because. Well, not sixth sense. What am I fucking? What am I saying? That makes me sound really egotistical. <laughs> um, <clears throat> just map awareness, right? Like that entire fight, or well, slash fight, whatever you want to call it. I wasn't focusing on the Renekton. I was focusing on where the Silas was, because I already knew I could kill the Renekton. But what if the Silas comes to help the Renekton? That's my thought process there. Uh, um, yeah, you really need to look out for just things around you rather than tunnel vision, tunnel visioning what's in front of you. So that's what happened there. And then poor Silas is tilted, and he's just greeting so hard for this, <laughs> for this virus. And so I know he's pissed after that. So I, I I decide to trash talk a little bit, and I'm like Silas players. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Silas players. <laughs> so yeah, that's just me. I'm trying to like get the tilt effect going you know I noticed the graves ISO here we can easily jump uh, if I wanted to but I still need to respect the sonar ulti right uh, and in case the Renekton's there etc blah 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 so yeah we get a Baron here no this is not Baron Tindris this is a dragon yes yes it's a dragon okay <laughs> I'm sorry guys the sickness is still in my head a little bit, right? Yeah. It's still a little bit in my head, but you know, I'm all, I'm all good now. I can still, you know, I can focus on things at least. <laughs> uh, and yeah, with Baron, it's just about closing out the game, isn't it? <laughs> so, just decide to push up this wave. And um, yeah, so here, this is a very smart decision by our team, right? We're just chilling. We're just chilling and chilling and waiting for the Singe to actually, uh, you know, to actually push up. But it looks like they want to engage. Um, and it is smart trying to go for an, an, an engage here because uh, our Singe is top, obviously. It's going to be a 5v4. But they still lose. <laughs> they, they still lose. They're really weak. Uh, I'm worth like three champions right now. Um, but yeah. So we're just chilling, we're just telling jokes, we're cracking jokes. My team is laughing, man. My Varus tries a little pick, um, but it doesn't work out. He's not strong enough to actually kill anyone by himself, and uh, we were not in the position there. I have to respect that uh, ward. I'm not gonna die just because of a pink ward. Silas decides to go in, he really hates this Varus. Really hates this Varus, decides the Zonyas for no reason. 
And I'm, I'm just chilling, right? Right? We're just chilling. We don't need to fight that. Big up my team, man. Big up my team. My team is, like, really nice. Notice how we're not fighting for no reason. Like, we could pick that fight. But we're just trying to make sure we don't lose our lead. We're playing very sensibly. And so, yeah. I get spotted here. That's fine. I did cross the map just to see if I can try to get a pick because I was getting a little impatient. Uh, looks like they want to try and go for something here. Um, the Vladimir goes in, yep. And so that's my cue to just go in, straight up. Silas isolated. I just fucking stealth in. Man, Ben, just jump into the three. Bam. Let me get that double jump into the quadra kill on MF. Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We're not fucking done. Hell yeah, of course we're getting this Penta. We're getting this damn Penta. Thank you, Karma. <laughs> That's a Penta. That's a Penta right there. That's a Conqueror, Kha'Zix Penta. Very simple. I just jumped on them. Face rolled them. Very, very simple Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix gameplay. Like, any anyone can do this. It's not hard. Um, and just Conqueror is fucking busted, so yeah. Um, honestly, this is why you should abuse Conqueror. <laughs> this is the exact reason why. Just abuse that shit, man. You want ELO? Fuck Hail the Blades. Just... just just play Conqueror. Fuck Phase Rush. Fuck Hob. Fuck Electrocute. Fuck Dark Harvest. Fuck Spellbook. Omni Stone. Guardian. Grasp. <laughs> what else is there? Aftershock. We don't talk about Aftershock. Uh, lethal Tempo. Fleet. PTA. Fuck all those key stands. Just run Conqueror and you will just win. You honestly just win so hard. Oh, I forgot about, I forgot about Glacial. Fuck Glacial. I forgot about Comet. Fuck Comet. Get out, Comet. Fuck Airy. Get out, Airy. Disgusting. Fuck Predator. Be gone. Just run Conqueror if you want to win. <clears throat> if you want to win, it's Conqueror. Non-stop. Like, every game. I'm not joking. You want you want ELO? It's so easy. It's so easy. Just play like I do in this, in this video. It's like so free. I don't have to use my brain to play this playstyle. Like, it's very, very brain dead. It's like... Yeah, I don't know what this Silas is doing. <laughs> I, I think he forgets um, he's very weak right now. Uh, we didn't talk about that jump, but I tried the double jump. <laughs> and is this another Panther? It could be. It could be, but it's not. Because I thought I could double jump there, but you know. <clears throat> that's fine. Anyway, that's it. Conqueror Kha'Zix. Abuse it while you can, before it gets nerfed or removed. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, all that good shit, and I'll see you next time.